This report, the State of the Strait Conference and its report, it's published every other year by experts not only here in Michigan, some in Metro Detroit, but also experts just across the river in Canada. Now, the report focuses on what's going well and what's not going so well with major waterways. It's these experts' jobs to make sure waterways like the Detroit River are not only beautiful, but also clean and healthy. Some of the positive changes these two experts say are things that you may in fact notice the next time you're out and about walking near the river. You know, if, if the Detroit River and Western Lake Erie were patients and they were going in for their annual checkup, the doctor would probably say, I have good news and I have bad news. Let's start with the good. The 11th state of the Strait findings show a major revival in wildlife that for decades was gone, says Dr. John Hartig with the Great Lakes Institute for Environmental Research at the University of Windsor. We've seen an amazing ecological revival with the return of bald eagles, peregrine falcons, osprey, Lake Sturgeon. The report doesn't just focus on the Detroit River. It's part of a binational effort to improve the health of the Great Lakes. This group focuses on the, the region of the United States and Canada that runs basically from Lake Huron through the St. Clair River, the Detroit River into Western Lake Erie. And now for the bad news. There are serious threats still plaguing our waterways. Challenges like climate change, algal blooms, invasive species, and loss of wetland habitat along the Detroit River, to name just a few of the eight main challenges listed in the report. The Lake Erie algae blooms are an ongoing problem. Uh, progress is being made. EMU biology professor Stephen Frankhor says with the guidance from these reports, which he's helped compile, those tasked with protecting our waterways have updated management plans and guidelines, and additional monitoring is in place to see if those guidelines have been effective. What we have to remember is that we live in the ecosystem too, and what we do to the ecosystem, we do to ourselves. Now, of all the threats facing the Detroit River, Dr. Hardig said climate change is by far the most glaring because, frankly, he says it affects all of those other indicators, too. Still ahead, coming up at 630, what he attributes some of the positive strides to that you'll notice next time you're out and about enjoying the waterfront. That's ahead. We're reporting live this morning along the Detroit River. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.